Okay. This little girl right here, that's just my baby. She stays with me everywhere I go. She sleeps with me. And she'll pretty much only eat whatever I eat. And so when I came back from the hospital, all I wanted was beef jerky and lemon sandwich cookies. So now this little baby, as you can see from her little tail wagon, she can hear the beef jerky package and is so excited, but she doesn't want to get up because I think she knows to be in videotape. She's afraid of spankings. Yeah, she don't want to spank him. <clears throat> so is she going to get some beef jerky? Oh, you get that baby. Last time we were low on money, we had to do her haircut ourselves and she was fussing and fussing and fussing. Then she got a spanking and finished it like that, just laying there. Like a yeah, and her spankings aren't even a spanking. You just tap her on the ass. Little baby spankings. Yeah, you tap her on the ass like you would a toddler, and she says, Oh, no! And she has trouble with this beef jerky. She's got to have little pieces. It, she chokes. She can't eat a lot. Like, yeah. even bread or no big pieces or the baby chokes. Oh, yeah. And then one more piece, and then you got to be done. You make yourself sick. It's a good thing I got some manly dogs. Yeah, because this here's my baby. I have all kinds of little dresses for her. I even have a bathing suit for her when we would take her to the river. She sleeps like a, she sleeps curled up with mama. She, yeah, well, before my surgery, when I'd sleep on my side, she'd sleep in my arm like a little baby. Her was a sweetie. She's my sweetheart. You should sit here grump at night when she tries to crawl in bed like that. She yeah. still wants to. She still wants to sleep like that with me. Hey, Molly Mo. But I have to sleep on my back, so. Hey, Molly Mo. She's in my baby. So. Isn't she beautiful? This, there is some knives Molly. in this video. Molly. It's not just a Can you say it? Can you talk? Video. Molly. She don't talk. She'll go, huh? Hmm? Yeah, when you ask her questions sometimes or when she wakes up she, and she wants to know what you're doing, she'll go, huh? Oh, Let's see if you can fine. check the ear span. Oh, yeah. Look at the ear. What's that? Hold her ears out. What's that? Move on. Come here. What? She used to comb my beard. <laughs> You're frozen. <laughs> Hold her ears out for him. This dog is so tiny, but she has these big old ears. Molly. Move on. There's one. Hold her body, please. <laughs> Look at these things. <laughs> Look at those ears. And she'll hold them up, too. I like to grab them like this. She'll hold them out when she's listening. So she looks like a little dwarf or an Ewok. She That's used to what comb she my like. beard. She used to comb my beard like that. Good girl, Momo. She's a good nurse. She, she only takes a day off maybe every week and wants to be out of here. Other than that, she stays locked up in the bedroom with Mommy. Okay, guys. Like I said, I've been uh, switching lanyards around. It's cool that you can take them off and put them on other things. And I put I just put this on my metal arc, which I like to carry around without the clip now, because this really grabs your pocket. Hey, get out of that beef jerky! Yeah, she went for the beef jerky. <laughs> Little turd. She says you're busy. And I've been trying out this one, the knife I got off the Lazy Spoiled Kitties contest from Bimmer Dude. Thanks again, 11, Lazy Spoiled Kitty. Who donated it? Uh, Bimmer Dude donate. You know what I've noticed with these blades? I really like the look of the the worked uh, 8CR 13 MOV. It's a beautiful steel. Um, you can kind of see the texture. Not texture, but lines on it. Babe. What are you doing? Here, I'll move down. Here. Okay. Hold on, guys. Okay, you can see. Oh, I got oil all over it. I just got this out of the drawer again. But see, okay, you can see it. See those worked lines from when they were working it? This 8CR13 MOV, the shiny stuff like this. It's just beautiful. Love looking at it. See those lines there? You don't feel them with your nail. You can't feel them. It's all smooth. So, very cool. So I've been looking for more knives that are the, the brushed or... You know, the shiny 8CR 13 MOV. You have them way too far in the light. The, it's yeah, too I already showed them. But you can see the lines on this one, too. This one's beautiful. See those little lines? You can't feel them. It's just beautiful. I got a scratch up here, but you can't see it. The braid's got a, that blade's got a nice sheen. So, I love this knife, and I guess the Raven has this same kind of blade shape. But a uh, different grind, so you I'll don't check have that the out. raven yet. No, but I'll get all the birds one day. Oh, yes, see this frame lock? This is really sharp, 
it sticks out, which is nice. But it is really sharp. Yeah, I hate those knives of yours that it's inside and I have to use okay. my nail because I break my nail a lot. So see, I used my thumb that time. What? You cut me off again oh. and I'm going to gag okay. you. What were you saying? I said I don't like the knives where that thing and turn it. Where that. The thumb stud? No, this. How this one sticks out. I don't like your knives where it's in there deeper and you have to kind of use your fingernail to get at it because I'm not strong enough. And then I always end up breaking a nail on oh, that thing, liner trying locks. to, yeah, on the liner locks, trying to close it. I don't like that, where they have it inside that thing and you can't just use your finger to slide it over. You have to actually get into the frame of the knife to close it. So it's cool that it, the frame sticks out on this one. Yeah. So it should be easier, but it's not because it's really sharp. So I just, okay, I use it like that or like this, good handle. And then I flip it over like that and I push push with my finger and that's how I close it and I fold it over like that throw it in my pocket but one thing I noticed that here's everybody's favorite the skank but <laughs> the frame lock on this one is so much easier to actuate let me see it's so soft but it locks up hard see but this is one Don't of those extend it mama I'm gonna cut <laughs> be careful but yeah, so this one, it's really easy to disengage. It's not sharp. Well, it's good enough to catch your finger, but it's not sharp. I open and close this one all the time. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Until he gets fucking yelled at. But this one, I can't do it because this is sharp. So I open it, turn it over, close it like that. But this is excellent. I think it's the top of the line bird and they're awesome quality already. It even has the bird finger choil. So, I've been carrying that around, trying that out, which I love. Still bummed about my knife order, which is okay. The, you know, shelter and food come first when you got a family. So. And it's not like he doesn't have knives. Yeah, I got a whole bunch. I haven't even got to carry the stretch very long or the Kara Kara 2 stainless, which is excellent. He's gotten, I mean, I know they're not expensive knives, but he's gotten quite a few new knives yeah, that yeah. he can't even carry them for long before he's on to something else. Yeah, I can't carry them all. But, oh, I was saving these up. Like, these were my best knives for a long time, and now that I got more knives, then I can finally start working these over. So, I just like to save my stuff and try and keep it new, but as you can see from the, my, you know, that leak that I always show you guys, that beat up leak, I do use my knives. I was just saving those. So, I don't know. I guess that's what I was talking about. What else did I do? The book. Oh, I got this lighter. I found it in a Safeway bathroom. It was open like this at the back of the stall. I don't know if they were lighting farts up or what. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd have done that, but Safeway would have been gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, this is this is one of the few butanes I've been able to refill over and over and over, and it keeps working. So, and I guess this is like an Arizona theme. They have these geckos all over the place. I don't even know. It My dogs love them. Katie Bird searches oh, for them. Oh, the geckos, she hunts. not the lighter. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking. Yeah, the gecko. Yeah. One time there was this little baby gecko in our doorway, and uh, she was looking for lizards, and we saw it, and we showed it to her. The thing couldn't have been more than an inch long, and she's trying to get at it, right? And all of a sudden, she kind of gives up and sits back and went to bark, and the damn thing jumped in her mouth. Yeah. And she ate it and then looked around for, like, where the hell did that little lizard go? She couldn't find it. She was frustrated and pissed. It was damn funny. Oh, yeah, that was great. She kept looking for it. She couldn't find it because she ate it. So uh, And swallowed it whole. She didn't chew. The damn thing had to have been moving around in her guts. At work, our security uniforms have to be, you know, pressly. They have to be pressed, clean. Even though he's the only one you that can get, follows them. Yeah, most of them just throw them in their truck. But uh, so this other guy, this new guy, he uh, washed his stuff and forgot to put his notebook and pen back in. So I let him borrow. Like I have extras. Uh, I had these crappy ones from Staples. They look like the composition ones, but they just fall apart. But I'm, I'm like, here, take this. And I found him a pen. I have a couple of pens because I like to play with pens at work. Use different ones throughout the day. But uh, he brought me this today. That was about a week ago. A right in the rain pad. This is cool. It writes in the rain. 
And then this is a right in the rain pin. I guess Fisher Space Pin makes makes the cartridges or makes these. So this is very cool. It writes on you know all that stuff that the Fishers do. Uh, let me see. I got some stuff on there. Some business some, stuff. Yeah, some personal things, some work things. But inside they have weight conversions and all that. And this is plastic, so it doesn't matter if that gets wet. It's like rulers. I can't focus in on that. That's fine. They, I think most of them know. But there's rulers and stuff. Centimeters and inches over here. Uh, the paper. Let me flip to a... The paper is waxy. Um, as you keep writing on it, it gets softer and softer. To repel it. To repel the water is why the wax is on it. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Captain Obvious. <laughs> well, it's all right, baby. Shut up. <laughs> Go put on your helmet before you hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, so um, I thought for a while that, you know, he gave me this so I could write on it easily. But, uh, you know, other pins work on it, too. I was afraid, I'm like, because uh, sometimes people need a piece of paper or uh, you know customers need a paper and you give it to them and if they can't write on it with their pens well I thought you said this not camera had a full charge it did it's going good well what is it you showed all our junk on the bed so <laughs> i've been living like they in ain't messy room. right like they ain't right. messy <laughs> and if you've lived in a room and not left it for the last month they'd be messy too okay so yeah i've been playing with this that's very cool the right in the rain pen you better show your book. You're at what 11 else? minutes, oh, 50 yeah. seconds. Hey, I, I saw this author uh, a long time ago. He made a, a book. And uh, then there was a movie. What was it? I don't even remember the, the book. Augustine Burroughs, though. You could look that up. And one of his books was made into a movie. It's basically like short essays on his life growing up. He, uh, I don't know. It's been forever. But they're hilarious. He moved in with like a psychologist and his family and the psychologist he was so weird he would put out like he would poop in the morning and have one of the kids put the poop on a picnic table to dry and then he would read like the future <laughs> anyway it's so it's got all that weird crap and then the psychologist of course would have access to medicine he would, he would always hand out different stuff to everybody and so there's lots of weird essays uh augustine burroughs is hilarious this is just one of the newer ones, A Wolf at the Table. I found this on sale. Um, there's the guy right there. You can find a lot of cool books. I find a lot of my samurai books in the clearance area. But this guy's hilarious, Augustine Burroughs. If, I mean, it's short. It's short read, too. Like, you can only read, like, an essay if you want or two. Uh, he, when he grew up, uh, I mean, he was successful before writing. He was in advertising. So he's got tons of stories about advertising, the world of that. Um, so very cool. Check him out. I don't want to make like book. I love books. I love reading. But I'll go through months without reading anything, and then months with reading tons of books. I Check read this too. guy out. I read a lot. Yeah, you do. You love reading. I read probably six or seven books a week. How many times have you read Harry Potter? Uh, you can't even count. You can't even count. She even wore out one of her books again. Yeah, the pages the just bite. fell. A chunk of pages just fell out of it yesterday when I was reading it. Okay, what else? Really did I pissed got? me off too. Oh, I finally got batteries again. Oh, I found out I can carry my screw pop at work. They didn't tell me to take it off. So that's cool. He really likes that. Thing. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, uh, I still got. I put my daily medicine in here. You're at 14 In case minutes. I forget it. I remember I could do over 15. But we haven't actually done one yet. But anyway. So. I had to put a bunch of these carabiners on my travel backpack. Let me get that. I know. It's just jumbled. But. Okay. Here's my little backpack. We've been taking to the hospital. Just put some carabiners on it. This is the only one I got left. We'll we show them for what? You grab my bag right there. This is the bag for my ileostomy supplies, and if you've bag. ever known anybody that has one of these, you have to carry supplies with you at all times, even if you just run to the gas station, because if your bag breaks, you have shit running down your body, literally. So there you go. So when we go to the doctors and stuff in Phoenix, he puts it on his bag, because I'm not allowed to carry anything, pretty much. They don't want nothing over five pounds, and honestly, almost everything weighs over five pounds. This is a 
doctor's bag. So. Grab my purse. That purse right there, he has to hook I on there. I over it like this. Here's the purse. It's not mine. So I just hook a whole bunch of shit to this and wheel it around. Yeah, so he can carry all my <laughs> stuff. He's so good. Yes, my husband even carries my purse for me. Isn't he great? Oh, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, the scale popped off my red one. So I went into the mini mini collection of these and I got out this one the smoke one. We have four of them. You guys do know that you never have to buy these. Yeah. If you yeah. send them into the the company, they will completely refurbish them and replace yeah. anything that's missing like the tweezers yeah, or the toothpick. Yeah, just take this shit out of here and they'll give you new ones. You just mail it to them so and they extra. they even pay the shipping back. We yeah. sent four knives to them. Well, a couple of two of them had None of the scales. Yeah, two of them were just the metal piece in the middle. All of them were missing the toothpick. A couple were missing the the tweezers. And uh, they completely refurbished them. And they got back to us within about three weeks. That's my favorite. And it was completely free. I mean, and it yeah. cost us maybe a dollar five to mail them to them in a little envelope box. And you buy these for like nine bucks. And yeah, right? they're ten bucks a piece. So a knife forever. Yeah, and he has four of them because before we knew that he could do that, you know, we kept buying them, but he kept saving the old ones. So now every time, you know, it starts to go bad, we just ship it off. What else do I got? And he saw so, I'm carrying a handkerchief now at work. We got a wipe our hands off or you know emergency throat yeah, he deals with a lot of nasty people they're not nasty people babe. you're telling me the people who put dandruff all over the counter today oh, yeah, were that nasty? Was nasty it got hand sanitizer i think this one's fragranted the card room manager gave me one too so that's cool uh carry this big bottle the smoke's getting to me in the casino it's tribal so they can they can smoke inside which is a big draw. I think we would lose a lot of customers. Uh, customers, but so I carry that. What else? Uh, the sharpener. I still have it. That bag used to be this old sh <laughs> sharpener. I tactically coated it with a permanent marker. So it, I still it was use the that. bag to my wave face cleaner. And then the honeybees in there because I just like playing with it. I like playing with it. Ever heard that before? Yeah, I'm sure you play with it every day. <laughs> so there's my multi-tool. I only use this for pliers. We're almost at 20 minutes of a whole bunch of bullshit. 20 minutes. Okay, yeah, I want to check out one of those sod mini clips or whatever. Ah, well, screw it. I don't want to do an EDC video yet. Soon. All right, guys. We just thought we'd give you a whole video of Stuff. us talking. Stuff a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. In case you got bored. Yeah. Hope bored. you guys have a good one. Watch it. Have fun. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, look. Knife fight. Thunder. Thunder. Thundercats. Oh! oh!